Now here's something a bit different. You don't see that many of these and this is one of those sets that everybody wanted. Really high quality and it's the Shogun from Sunrise Products Japan. It's a saga on the printed circuit board just there. These can suffer from dry joints between the two layers of the printed circuit because it's a double sided board and I think that's what's happened with this. Now this came in for service three years ago and it was something they'd bought off eBay at the time and uh, you know it all got sorted out and serviced and it's been fab and brill. Unfortunately it's now playing a really silly trick and all the displays are out the set is on right now and if I press transmit I get acoustic feedback coming through the extension speaker as if it's in PA mode and all the displays come on so I do have a circuit diagram I do have a chart that I made up because we don't have a manual and, and I wrote to Sunrise Products, uh, Products Japan at the time and manuals were never available so here we go, I'll pause the video and get some fault finding done. Okay, I've been this through this for dry joints and it's now come on. And I've been bashing it about and it's not gone off. So um, let's hope that's it. When you get dry joints like this, I send them all out with a three month warranty. And then there's, if I've missed it and it came on inadvertently, well, they still get it done. I've taken the screen cover off and it's as horrible in there as it is on those um, grandstand Geminis and base stations. It's all full of horrible wax and there's not a lot you can do. And uh, much as I'd like to, I'm, I mean that's going to be VCO and I presume they're the two initial receive ones so that's what we'll go for. Anyway, we'll start with the transmitter. I'm not going to do the VCO because we don't have a manual, we don't know how it's actually properly done. and it works. So we start in that case I presume with 152 there. Right, these are 5 pin mic plug, one of the pins carries 12 volts so if you're using a uh, an amplified mic like a K40, you can get the power feed straight from the radio. It's not often you get a 12 volt power feed on uh, CBs, as you'll be aware. So going into transmit, whoops, don't know why it doesn't like the large the extension speaker in, but uh, well, it's straight away, it's straight over to 4 watts. So we've got uh, 152. I don't know the number of that coil. That's just actually increased it a fraction. We've got a hexagonal one, so I think it's the green tool. I don't know if it's the blue one. It's the green tool. Don't use Allen keys. Then we go back over to the yellow tool. I was at 157, this is our 154. That was bringing it up to about 4.5 watts. So, and that's on this test set. That's probably about 7 good buddy watts. We'll check the deviation. The oscillator out for that. Using the oscillator, we've got two and a half, which is what we should have. Just give it the whistle test. Wallow. Just a fraction more, I think we could do with on that. And the deviation is the preset, which is through the screen can and it's the second hole <whistles> wallow there we go not 
sure if you've got um, low power on these sets um, preset. I'll just uh, go into low power. It's 0.3. I'd like it to have been 0.4, but I'm not sure there's a preset. No, there isn't a low power setting on these. While we're talking about the transmitter, you've, you, what you do have is an automatic level control for the microphone there, which is effectively my gain. You, you don't want that at full by any means. Uh, you will end up, or if you've got this in a mobile situation, you'd end up with nothing but road noise. So between that and the deviation is how that's done. I mean, I've got a monitor receiver here, and uh, if I just uh, want to testing one, two, three, four, five. One, two, that's fine. Right. Now we'll check that we've got the right number of lights lighting for the 4 watts output. When I key the mic, of course, there should be... Oops, we're on low power. Well, it's right, lighting all five, so I'll just drop that down a fraction. I won't, you know, because there isn't a preset for that either. OK, so it reads five. In that case, that's the transmitter set up, and it's doing a good four watts. Deviations pr uh, done properly. We're lighting all the lights. No we'll check it's on frequency. It should be twenty-seven seven nine one two five twenty-seven seven nine one zero nine. We'll pull that up through this uh, screening can. TC one is through that hole there, that to the left. So I'll just do that. Twenty seven seven nine one two four. That will do. There we go. So I'll join you again on the receive side of this video.